News director Jim Lockwood did the commentary, and the report made the early news with this dramatic footage. This is News 4 Indiana with Rich Green and Chuck Workman Sports. Good evening. Here's what's happening in our world tonight. A drama which began early this morning is still unfolding tonight on the west side of Indianapolis. A former West Point gun instructor, furious over a foreclosed mortgage, took a real estate company president hostage, marched him through downtown with a shotgun to his head, and then took him to the West Side apartment where he remains to this hour. News 4's Jim Lockwood reports. The bizarre incident began at the Meridian Mortgage Company, 129 East Market Street in Indianapolis, where 44-year-old Anthony Karitsis shackled a sawed-off shotgun with tape and wire to the back of the head of Richard Hall. Hall is the president of Meridian Mortgage's parent company, Hall & Hottle Realtors. Karitsis then ordered Hall outside and down the street to the Penn Park garage, where the wired pair took the elevator to the seventh floor, where Karitsis had parked his car. Then, for some reason, Karitsis changed his plan and returned to Pennsylvania Street and started walking south surprising early morning pedestrians who were startled to see the two men with a shotgun between them. Karitsis, with Hall in tow, turned and walked west on Washington Street, stopping periodically to argue with police. became irritated with police who were dogging his trail and at that point he came close to shooting Hall. continued west on Washington to Senate Avenue, where he commandeered a police officer who was stopping traffic and took the officer's car and gun. At that moment, an unidentified motorist caught up in the action crashed his car into a telephone pole. Kuritsis pulled Hall into the car and forced him to drive west on Washington Street. An entourage of police cars joined in a sporadic chase to the far west side. During Kuritsis' entire downtown walk with Hall, police marksmen were unable to shoot him because he had the wires so entwined around his body and Hall that any backward or forward movement on the part of either man would have triggered the shotgun. And that's the situation as it is now. Still, police stand by on the west side of Indianapolis. 